بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الأحباب where the world looks on or continues to ignore what's going on in Yemen we don't forget our brothers and sisters in Damaj in the northern part of Yemen that are being attacked and driven to famine by Shia-backed militias like the Houthiin Shia militias backed by Iran. That they attack and kill Ahl Sunnah. That they do not distinguish between the children and women. And the world does not give much attention to this. There's no next to no media coverage. There's next to no uh, assistance and support. So it's up to us to support our brothers and sisters, at least through supplication. And if you have wealth, at least through your wealth. As the Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Hadith, that Allah Azza wa Jal in a Hadith Qudsi that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Unfaq ya Ibn Adam, unfaq ilayk." That Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Spend, O son of Adam, and I will spend upon you." So you will not have any of your charity diminished if you spend in the cause of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to help your brothers and sisters who are being harmed, and it is easy for all of us to raise our hands and supplicate and support our brothers and sisters that are being harmed and in general for Yemen to have stability because this is a country that has been through civil war and never fully recovered has been in a permanent state of poverty is the poorest out of nation uh, in existence but now with the recent happenings in Syria it's hard to say which is also going through great turmoil and also at the hands of the Shia and other extremists who are spilling the blood of the Syrian people. So supplicate for them as well that Allah grants them peace and security and safety and provisions and gives their children a chance to go to school, practice their religion in safety and peace with stability, because all of us require that in this life. And we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal, out of his infinite grace and mercy, grants them relief, the people of Yemen, the people of Syria, the people of Iraq, the people of Afghanistan, Burma, Central African Republic, wherever they may be suffering, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite their hearts based on Kitabila wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bless them to overcome the obstacles that the shayateen from mankind and jinn have put before them and the trials and tests, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them ease from their struggle and patience and may Allah bless us to be thankful for the blessings that we have and to use our wealth and our resources to assist others and help his deen subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.